and the app is uh, really all new, at least from a menuing standpoint, much easier to use, very pilot friendly. It's clear that the, the pilots at Garmin have had their way with this thing, giving a lot of new features. Um, among the, uh, the nicest one is uh, well, the ability to display charts, of course, but <clears throat> typical of Garmin, when you turn this into portrait mode, you get a, a really nice display that, that includes an HSI at the bottom and basically a six pack it becomes with a moving map at the top. Like uh, a lot of other EFBs, you have the option of overlaying a lot of different kinds of charts, whether it's <clears throat> BFR sectionals, IFR and route charts, uh, low altitude and high altitude. And of course, weather. If you connect this thing to say a, uh, a Baron Weather Services um, weather uh, system, XM Weather, you can bring in satellite weather and lay it right over the top of this. Uh, works, uh, works quite well. Um, menuing is very simple. The home button is the key to the whole thing and when it pops up you end up with eight choices only and two of those are set up and download. So really you've got six things to, to, to use to make the whole app work. So very shallow menuing, map being one of them, so how simple is that? Then you've got something called active flight plan which is just what it says, active flight plan. Very easy to edit on the fly after you've created an, uh, a flight plan. Then there's trip planning which is where you go in and create all your routes, you can store them, your aircraft profiles there, pilot profile, um, that sort of thing. You can produce your nav log and see the entire trip. Then there's a trip summary page. Uh, airport info will look very familiar to AOPA members at least because a lot of the aviation business information comes right from AOPA, from our airports directory online. So all the FBO information, services, attractions, those kinds of things that show up in here are direct, directly from AOPA, but you also have the ability to to load procedures, look at weather, NOTAMs, the FBO information, all those kinds of things. Fuel pricing is available in the app, as well as basic runway information. All, everything you need to know about an airport is uh, there under one keystroke. Then there's charts. You can look at uh, both instrument uh, approach plates, but also all the terminal procedures. STARS, uh, standard instrument departures, all those kinds of things uh, available here. And all stored in a nice binder system, so it makes it really easy to, to get move from one product to the next. Also, geo-referenced. One of the options with the product is to have geo-referenced approach plates and geo-referenced uh, runway diagrams that Garmin calls Smart Taxi. And it's really nice when you're flying on the approach procedure, because it's geo-referenced, you can see your airplane actually moving along on the approach plate, and then, when you land, it automatically transitions to the taxiway diagram that's also geo-referenced, so you can see yourself taxiing on the taxiways. So great uh, situational awareness when you're at the airport. Of course, you can look at uh, weather imagery that either you've uh, downloaded before you took off or that comes in through that uh, Baron service that I was talking about earlier. And then you have the ability, of course, uh, download, manage how you, you get the download, the latest charts and all the settings for make the thing work. So really very simple, as I said, only eight choices to, to, to run the whole app. But the primary one you're gonna use most of the time, of course, is the map page. And from there, you get uh, great situational awareness across the variety of maps.